Inside the FDNY staffing shortage, some firefighters are taking sick time as a form of protest against the city mandate requiring all municipal workers to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. And I'm Joe Torres. Mayor Bill de Blasio tweeted 91% of New York City workers are now vaccinated. 2,300 more workers got a COVID-19 shot today. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal reports some fire companies are temporarily closing. Here in Harlem at Engine 59 and Ladder 30, the fire trucks were rolling out for calls. But some fire companies within firehouses have temporarily closed as the city's vaccine mandate requiring all city employees to have at least one shot is now in effect. We, the people, will not comply. This week, thousands of firefighters and other city employees protested the mandate. I'm an American and it's a freedom of choice. The city of New York isn't allowing us time to decide what is best for ourselves. Those firefighters refusing to get the shot are now using excessive sick leave. This is now leading to a loss of manpower. The fire commissioner firing back saying this tonight. The department has not closed any firehouses. Irresponsible bogus sick leave by some of our members is creating a danger for New Yorkers and their fellow firefighters. They need to return to work or risk the consequences of their actions. The firefighters union president saying this. I have had members that have received the vaccination saying they haven't flu-like symptoms and they have to go sick. The department is allowing people to have a couple of days off after they get the vaccination. As the debate on both sides continues, city leaders say the mandate is pushing vaccination numbers up. The NYPD and EMS workers are now at 84 percent, firefighters 72 percent vaccinated, and the Department of Sanitation at 77 percent. Officials are hoping those numbers will continue to rise. Now, any other employee who has not received their COVID vaccine shot will be suspended without pay.